Keep that sun out of our eyes. Airplane! Airplane! Fucking windy as fuck. But it's not windy here, is it? Look at that window. How the fuck do you see out of that? What is that? You start driving and you're like, oh, I can't see out the window. And you're like, uh, fuck it, I don't have nothing to clean it. I'll clean it when I get somewhere. You get somewhere and you're like, oh, fuck, I don't want to clean it. I'm already here. I don't need to clean it. So I go in and work. So then, go in and work, and you come back out, and your window's dirty, and you're like, fuck, I ain't got nothing to clean it with. So you drive it home, and you're on break, and you don't want to clean your window on your break, because you break. And, uh, man, now your window's not clean for a month. Look at how dirty window. That's how easy it is. Looking out a dirty window. Looks like a filter. Garbage man filter. <sighs> I I mean, what's there really to talk about? I mean, what's the new stuff? I guess I'm asking you guys. So what's new? What's what's the way that we're getting fucked now? I mean, you don't even hear about the housing bubble anymore. Uh, I was like, yeah, cool. Make all the houses worth nothing. Then we'll buy a house. But that, that never came around. Everything is just the next fear to get you to do something for the next fear. And they never... They never let you truly experience your fear. I mean, I'll... And I'm not saying this like you guys are bad or anything like that. This is the way... This is a, a representation of what we're going through. If everybody is saying that this is a hell, that, that, that this is like living in hell, then, you know, that's the general census, isn't it? It doesn't matter what I think. But, uh... We never get to see it, really. It's just 
the idea that this is hell. I said in my other video, that I'll probably go upload them both. They're both short. I said in my other video that I think that whistleblowers are are making us feel bad. And I don't know if it's on purpose or not. I think I think the original ones might have been on purpose. Or maybe the original ones were, were for real and then they they brought about the fake ones because they realized how powerful it was for people to blow the whistle and now they can be truly afraid of this thing that they were just, you know, possibly afraid of. But the confusion is, is probably just as powerful as being afraid, being confused, because that brings about a whole nother insecurity and fear. Another a whole nother group of it. So if you don't know, then you're scared. So, yeah, the confusion is probably pretty powerful too. These are all the ways that they make us scared. We're scared. And then nobody wants to say, yeah, I'm scared because it makes you look weak and like they're winning. But this is fucking scary. What if you, what if you made the wrong choice? And you give them all this power and and they, they own the world. And and then what do you do? How do you get the world back? Can you even do it? <laughs> it's not like a, a guaranteed, oh, good time, happy, and candy and nuts for everybody. But I want this to end. It's gonna be even harder than it is now. But I want it to end. I want everything to end. Not life. I don't want life to end. I want this usury system to end. I've been calling it the usury system for years. It's just using and using and using. There's there's no reason. I guess when, when you say that everything is here for us, that, that kind of enables using. But that kind of shows me that all this like go ahead and don't worry be happy God loves you I think that's enabling you to be used God doesn't love you and you don't need to have God loving you you don't need God to take care of you. What if... What does that make you? If, if It's like God's pet. And people say, oh, well, that's the greatest thing in the world to be is God's pet. But then all you, all you have to do is find somebody that's nice enough to be God-like and you could be their pet. And then you could choose and have stuff that you like and you, you do or you think is okay to do as long as it's not being done to you and that could be your God you could be owned by whatever you want to be owned by but I think I'm, I'm almost positive. I mean, this is what I see. Maybe somebody could explain to me what they see if they see something different. But I don't think you need to eat. I, I don't think you need to drink. I don't think you need to stay warm. I don't think you need to stay cold. I think we can experience everything, anything, nothing. To use something else's energy is a taking. 
but I don't know. Maybe even just opening your eyes is like using the light. So what's the level for it to be okay? But uh, I mean, that doesn't really help you anything. Seems like I don't think it works this way, but it seems like everything comes back to just do whatever you want. That really isn't harming someone if if nothing is real. It's the idea of harming someone, but as long as you put in there that it's not real, it wouldn't be the idea of harming them, would it? It's okay to kill a character in a video game. Even if it's not okay in the video game, it's okay here in this world to kill a character in the video game. It's okay. You can go through and run every pedestrian over you want. You're allowed to. It's written in the game. They wrote it into the game. Noises, thuds, and bumps in the car. They're showing it to you. It's weird. It's a weird place. What if I didn't do anything? What if I, I didn't have a car? What if you were just out in the woods? What would, would it be like, ah, I want to walk around. I want to see something new. And so I walk around and I get to a lake. And I can't walk in the lake. Uh, or can I? Can I walk in the lake? How deep can I walk in the lake? Can I walk under the water? There's things under the water, breathing under the water. Do I even need to breathe? Seems like that's the most rudimentary thing that you need to do is breathe. If you don't need to have water and food. Because there's people that don't do that and they stay alive. So don't tell me that you have to have that stuff. What's the level that you have to have it at? What's the level of slavery that you're okay with? Whatever. What's the level? What, what are the boundaries? We, we're humans. We're here to find boundaries. What if we're just a test going on with this reality? This reality was made, and what's the best way to test this reality? We'll get some humans down there and put some humans in there and see what happens with them. If they can survive, then us, the higher beings, can definitely survive. Maybe it'll be pretty. We'll, maybe we like the patterns that the humans make when they build things on the, on the flat earth. I'm going to have to add that in. Maybe we like the patterns that the humans make on the flat earth. So we put them down here just to see us build some fucking bullshit. It doesn't even have to be a worthwhile thing. You could build sewer plants that are look beautiful to our higher consciousness. Oh, I love a sewer plant. Let's make some people so that... Because it, it's just better. When it's a natural sewer plant instead of a spiritually made sewer plant. So I guess we do it. We do whatever the fuck you want. Do what you want. I guess that's it. That's the message, huh? I don't like it. I don't like that message because... If I do what I want, then what's to stop other people from doing what they want? And if they're all doing what they want, then I guess I gotta interact with them. And who, who, how could you ever trust anybody? You'd be always waiting to get the upper hand so you could just fucking take them out so you didn't have to worry about them. Fuck all that. Do unto others as you want them to do unto you. I guess that's the end.